Every four years, we're given this map. This is not America. You don't just walk from Florida to Georgia and everything is different. In reality, we believe that it's more of a smooth transition. So we decide we're going to try to make a clearer picture. We break this down to a county level. And we can see now that the states are actually a patchwork of red and blue counties. Our next question is, OK, if I walk into Leon County and then cross over into the next county, is it different? So we're going to take all the red votes, all the blue votes, and inside each county, we're just going to uh, merge them all together. And, and what ends up happening is we get purple. And this is great. We, we can see now that the entire country has a very smooth transition. But at the same time, there's a problem with this map. It's a really popular map, but it does have a problem. And the problem is when you get closer to 50-50, so a county like this one or a county like that one, it's really hard to tell what it's leaning to. Is it more red? Is it more blue? It's also influenced by the colors next to it. You can look at one county, and you could think it's leaning red. And in reality, it's, it's leaning blue. So this map isn't all that clear. So why? What's the problem? Well, the problem is, instead of this, where we're looking at red versus blue, now we're looking at an indiscreet number of hues that exist between red and blue. All we want to do is look at red and blue and compare those two. But when you see an equal amount of red hues and blue with an absence of green, you see magenta. It's magenta that's the problem. That's interesting because why do we care about the absence of green? What happens if we decide, hey, we're going to include green? We go from this to that. And now we can see that every county is either red, blue, or gray. If it's gray, it's even, 50-50. If it's the slightest red, if it's like this county right here, easy. It's leaning red. If it's this county, easy. It's leaning blue. Way easier than before. Magenta was nonsense, and we were looking for, is it more red or is it more blue? You can use this concept, and now you can only compare two things instead of an indiscreet range of hues. And you can still apply everything else that you normally use in map making, such as relative turnout, because you still have alpha layer that you can use for that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a new way to show data and make it a little bit clearer than we could before. Thank you.